What is up guys and welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. My name is Evan. Today's gonna be an awesome episode. We've got a very special guest in the house. I know you guys already saw the first episode with the Evo, which was kind of like an introduction. But today we've got an artist who is the creator of Max Boost comic. Um, you guys might remember that from Import Tuner Magazine, but he's here in the flesh looking at the Evo for the first time. So a couple days ago, we actually did a Zoom call talking with Dennis, and now he's here. What do you think, Dennis? You know, I'm excited about this car. I'm a track guy. I struck performance driving schools. I've raced, and I'm excited that we're actually getting a track race car in throttle, and even more excited we're gonna be giving it away. It's gonna be, this is gonna be dope. All right, so. First impressions, do you think it's worse or better condition than uh, than you thought? You know, the, the honest truth is a lot of the track cars are really bad condition. Um, I mean, they're beat up, uh, really, I mean, that's why I was, when I saw some of the photos, I was like, wow, this looks really clean. So to me, depending on how much he's driven it, and apparently not that much with the mileage on the car, I mean, this is a really good condition right now. It's an awesome place to start. So today, we're gonna do something I think we've never done. Maybe if you're an OG, you remember Dennis came and he actually uh, sketched up Mickey's FD, the Bad Apple, a long time ago. Maybe a year and a half ago? Feels when like we it. first moved here. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna try to figure out kind of the color scheme that we want to use. We wanna do something a little bit different, which is kind of bring you guys along for this process. So in most of the builds, like the SCI, as the throttle team, we sit down and kind of figure out what colors we wanna do, what parts we wanna choose, and how we want the overall build to go. We build the plan, we build the schedule, and then we execute what you guys see on YouTube. Um, but we never really show this much behind the scenes and, and we wanna change that. We really wanna bring you guys along for the ride and if you guys have questions or if you have comments or if you have any advice to give us along the way, we do read the comment section so please uh, leave us a comment, shoot us a DM on Instagram and we will get back to you as soon as we can. So. In today's episode, we are actually gonna be sketching the Evo and kind of showing you guys what it could look like, I guess. That's the goal. And I think without further ado, Dennis is gonna grab his sketch stuff and let's get started. What do you got there, a little Hello Kitty? <laughs> Don't throw that away. Don't push that away so low. I couldn't, find a, I couldn't find a sharpener this morning, so I stole this from my wife. All right, so yeah, so typically um, the non-digital way of drawing, which I love still doing the paper and pencil. In terms of drawing, it's just like how I draw a Max Boost comic is you start off with a blue pencil and you lay it out. And blue pencil helps you kind of sketch something on there and then eventually you go from blue pencil to a regular mechanical pencil. And then from a regular mechanical pencil to inking the, the actual drawing. So there's like three steps. You basically draw it three times to do a comic book. And that's how comic books have been traditionally drawn uh, for a really long time. Now we've got all the newfangled digital stuff, which we're also gonna do and we'll show you that. I'm doing this a little bit more in like a more of a Max Boost style. So in the comic book, we have a little bit more cartoony, a little bit more caricature. And so I'm doing that right now. When I do the final rendering, it's gonna be in more of a realistic fashion. Yeah, no, you just kind of notice some of the design elements in the car that um, you wouldn't notice normally if you're not drawing it. So one of the things I thought was really interesting uh, on this, the design of the car is actually how flat the front windshield is. I don't know if you noticed that. The line on the door right here is literally a straight line. There's no curve, there's no, there's no form to it. It also has sort of like a bubbly top to it that is offset and you don't notice it as much when you have a wing on it. It balances out the car. So those little kinds of things that I, I'm noticing as I draw and I think that's what's really cool about the design process, right? And so, I like this design cue, but I don't want it to be like the first thing you see when you look at the front of the car, because it, it is very powerful. 
I really want this to be the focal point and sort of the canards. So right. set it back so you can have, yeah, yeah, so it doesn't have that nostril, like right. as the first thing you look at. I actually thought about chopping it out, but I really think it's a cool functional race. Yeah. It's a trademark of the Sea West kit, that nostril. So, yeah, you know, exactly. you coming up with the idea of blacking it out and still keeping that functionality, but at the same time setting it back, so it's kind of more up to date. All right, so we're at a point where me, uh, Mickey, and Evan have discussed the car, I've sketched it out, we put our brains on this thing. I'm gonna take this sketch back to the studio and I'm gonna keep working on this design. This is making me miss my E46 M3. I remember when you first got this thing. Oh, yep. URTRs. Yes, sir. The Falk, oh. There's the Falcon Max Boost poster right there. Sick. You cannot get these anywhere except directly from Very me right cool. now. With all the yeah. FD guys on it. So I'm good. This to the throttle team. Thank but you. But check this out, dude. We got books galore. Hey, hey dang. So original Max Boost books, all signed, numbered. Wow, that's freaking nice. And that's the gold one. You can't even buy that. So. Dang, we got them gold. <laughs> I love gold. Yeah. Woo. I want to give you guys these. Oh, those will go on the shelf over there. Dude. Hell yeah, with our hyper revs. Yes. Yeah, so this is the right? old school OG. This is the whole story. Max Boost comic. This is the first half. Yeah. Uh, started Max Boost in 1998. <laughs> In Importuner magazine, and so you can see this. This is all my art from back in the day. You got any Evos in there? Yep. Yeah, so there you hey, go. Remember this one? Is, yeah. So this is the KN. So KN contacted me many years ago, but I did a graphics company, and it was called Street Skins, and I did graphics like livery stuff, and I get this artwork from KN saying, "Hey, can you make this into reality?" We had we had this artist render this for us, and we need to make it real. Little did he know. So this is the only thing they gave me. So I had to take this and translate it into an actual real world graphic, which was really difficult, actually. Yeah, no, I, I felt for whoever's gonna do the graphic, but what little did he know, it was me that designed it, I and I had no yeah. idea he actually put yeah. the car together and got it ready for SEMA. And one of the hardest stickers to put mm -hmm. on this car was this KN sticker, because it fell on the nose up here. It was all <laughs> different shapes. Oh my god, what a pain in the butt. What yeah, no, that's crazy. Butter. Like. That connection is. And that. you just found that out. I two just days ago. found that out. No, on the uh, on the live mm -hmm. on the live stream, I yeah. just found that out. That Mickey was the guy who applied the sticker of my livery for K and N and back in two thousand and five, six. To, to take that even a step further back, a decade before that, when I still lived in Ohio, I was running Auto Cannon and Zoom stickers on one of my cars that I built because I thought the brand was so cool. I had no idea Dennis was the guy behind it. You can literally buy his stickers of these tuned out cars in the quarter machines at our local grocery store, which I used to buy all the time because as a car enthusiast in Ohio, there wasn't a whole lot of content out there. So uh, I drew most of this Evo at throttle uh, in blue pencil. And so now the next step is I'm gonna take it from blue pencil to regular graphite pencil. And the way I'm gonna do that is actually gonna end up drawing it on a separate cleaner sheet of paper. So I'm gonna draw it, redraw it again um, using this light table. By the way. So this is it, slightly has some ink to it and some pencil so you can see sort of the contrast there. Just getting started. Actual original sketch. I scanned it into the computer. 
I'm gonna start colorizing it uh, digitally. I've never done this live uh, before, so. drawings back from Dennis and we've gotten to see the final rendering we're really excited and I will say that we love to go through this process it's especially special for me to work with Dennis just because of our history and our past but uh, we always tend to have a rendering done before we start any of these sweepstakes cars and the reason for that is it, it lends itself as sort of a roadmap as we build the car so we can kind of just print out the uh, the roadmap put it on the wall and as we put the car together get an idea of how it's gonna look when it's all done and then everything down to the paint color, the graphics, all that stuff can all be put on the rendering. And then we know before the car is even started or finished what it's gonna look like or resemble when it's done. So thank you so much to Dennis for throwing that together for us. Um, I know he has many hours in that rendering and we're excited to have it. You might wanna keep your eye out for our merch coming up for the car because it's gonna be pretty dope. It will also be utilizing that rendering for some of that stuff. Quick update on some of the other projects around the shop. I'm currently working on the Honda Civic. We've got a bunch of stuff coming up with that. Uh, we are still waiting for our rear end stuff to put the car back on the ground. And once that happens, we'll get you guys content on that. We will be also picking the winner for the Subaru STI here in the next day or so. We've got another announcement for the Evo coming up as well uh, as we've added some new parts already. So you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for that. The ice cream van is on its way back next week. So it's getting done at the wrap shop shortly at Premium Auto Styling. And uh, we should have that back and Ricky and I can start banging out the interior and getting that thing looking cool and uh, on the road for the, the end of summer. And last but not least, we picked up another project car. I know we have a lot of project guys and we've got a lot going on in the background. But uh, I think you guys are gonna be excited about this one. This one's gonna be Evan's daily uh, for a while. It's gonna get a heap of goodies. So I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. We're gonna be getting that one started here in the coming weeks and uh, updates on all of these vehicles very shortly. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed that process as much as we have. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, leave us some comments and thumbs up. We appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time. And I walked into a couple presents from our boys over at Shipwreck Cove. We got some bags floating in our tank. He came in while we weren't here and dropped off some things. But I think I should put them in the tank. They're uh, accustomed to it now. And uh, we've got a few goodies just floating in here. We've got a leopard wrasse who's just chilling in his bag here. I can't remember the name of this thing. This is an anemone. Oh, our clownfish wants to say hello. Um, anyway, so we've got a rainbow bubble tip anemone right there. Hello. And we've got a, I think it's a purple Indonesian torch in this bag here. So I gotta find a home for all these things. Um, I'm gonna let the leopard rass out because he wants to swim. Swim, baby, swim. Oh, he's cool. Oh man, he's got some cool leopard print stripes. Oh. He wants to hide. Yeah, he found a little hiding spot in the cave over here. All right, awesome. Well, I just went ahead and tossed the uh, new anemone in the tank as well as the torch. And it takes a little while for them to get acclimated and sort of uh, get comfortable in the tank. So they're a little small at the moment. Um, but that's the new torch right there. It's an Indonesian torch. And our Fiji leopard wrasse, unfortunately, is hiding in the sand somewhere, which is a normal thing for them to do. I think he went back there and buried himself in the sand. And then here is our bubble tip, rainbow bubble tip anemone. Just tossed it right in the front. 
so we can keep an eye on it and that will move off of that rock probably onto one of our rocks so hopefully he finds a nice home I should say if any of you guys have reef tanks at home or even freshwater tanks for that matter, give uh, SC underscore corals on Instagram a follow. He's got a bunch of awesome stuff. Um, you can purchase your corals and fish from him and they will ship to your door. This has been one of the greatest things that we've ever added to our automotive shop here at Throttle. It's such a um, therapeutic and nice way to end a day uh, after a stressful day to sit down and watch the tank for a few minutes and enjoy these things. So, if you guys are fish people or into reefs, you can find them online at sccorals.com. I think he's got a bunch of pictures and things that uh, you can buy for your reef tanks on there as well. Check them out. Dan's a great guy. If you guys do buy something, use code THROTTLE20 on his website save 20% off. 